Hey, hey, hey guys. So John here. Welcome back to the Super Awesome Geek Show. So in the previous video, I was going to do both books in one video, but the first video took 20 minutes. So I figured let's stop there. So we went through this video in the, or this book in the first video, showed up a couple Jurassic Park dinosaurs that I recently picked up. And then this time we're going to go through this action figure collector book right here. I'll move it a little bit over so we can start opening the pages. This is SU Verlag GmbH Collector's Mall Services LC. Collector's Mail, right? Does that say mail? Yeah. And uh, Action Figure Collector 1997. So if you want to look it up, you can find it. I got this book and the Star Wars one from these guys. Really good people, cmitoys.com. They have, look at this cool picture they did of a Boba Fett on a throne. This is a cosplay. They've done this whole thing. So um, pretty cool little thing they got going on with their cosplay stuff. And then when they were at Celebration 5, they had their friend there next to Jabba the Hutt. I'm in that pose when I saw that job of the hut. <laughs> I have a photo of that, except instead of the girl, you got me. And I'm not dressed up in the bikini. I'm just in my regular clothes. Yeah. I didn't wear, I've never worn a Princess Leia bikini, you know, come to think of it. <laughs> All right, let's look at this book. These are really good books. I highly recommend them. Um, Mark at Blue Harvest clued me into the Star Wars one. And then when I was looking that, when I saw these guys had that one, um, I saw they had this one and I've got both of them. So there's a lot. It's got English on one side and German on the other. So, and they go through a lot of stuff about collecting, how the book is laid out. Um, they got a really nice index that's color coded here. Really cool. But then they get right into it. And this is what I like. So you've got a photo of all the figures with all their accessories, really nice, right up front there, and then a listing of what they are and what the values were back in that, in 1997. So we've got the A-Team 3.75 inch, we've got Adam's Family, we go into Dungeons and Dragons, both runs of them. Some of these I've, I've never even seen in a store in person before. Look at these, like, I've never seen that guy. I've never seen this white knight. I've never seen this guy. These are the ones I'm more familiar with right up top here. I see these four all the time. I see that little guy. I see the, the wizard there. This little dwarf and that dude I see. This guy. But like this barbarian, this guy, I don't see. I've seen this guy a lot. I don't see him. And these four, I don't think I've ever seen these four on the bottom here. So that's what's really cool about these books is I, I get an idea of the entire line without having to hunt online to find websites and things. And there's the, I've seen this thing a lot, but not this Aladdin, pretty cool alien stuff i've got all this first wave but not these three i didn't even know these three existed so i'm going to track them down and then the other cool thing is they show these alien versus marine two packs which again i don't think i ever saw so i'm going to start tracking some of that stuff down see what it's what's going on with that so, Batman, look at all the different variants in Batman. There's three different Batmans. I only knew about two different variations. I didn't know there was a third one. So, that's pretty fascinating. And then Batman the Animated Series, which is something really cool because I've seriously been try thinking about... People have sent me, like, I've got Man Bat and Croc and a couple Batmans. I think there's a robin floating around over there but um and it's got mr freeze but it's got me thinking like 
I want to start collecting these on card while they're pretty, they're still relatively cheap and relatively, relatively inexpensive. I don't want to say cheap, um, inexpensive enough where it makes collecting the line feasible in this day and age. Um, partly because I think a lot of these 90s, this book is going to help me because I think a lot of these 90s figures are going to start skyrocketing in value in the next five to 10 years. So if you don't start getting them now, 10 years from now, you're going to turn around and go, I do want that line. I wish I collected that. And they're going to be like $100 per figure. They're going to be up there like Star Wars and G.I. Joe were a few years back for us, you know. And now Star Wars and G.I. Joe are in the hundreds of dollars, three, two, three, four, sometimes a thousand dollars a figure on card. And these 90s figures are going to catch that at some point. I think in five to ten years, they're going to be around a hundred dollars each, where right now they're 20 to 30. Sometimes you can even get things for five bucks, uh, certain lines. But I think in 10 years, they're going to be, all of them, most of them will be over $100 a line, a figure on card. And then when you go another 20 or 30 years down the road, you're going to be looking at some of these 90s figures that are in the hundreds, if not $1,000 range on, on card. And um, you're going to be kicking yourself that you didn't buy them now while they're 5 10 20 $30 a figure uh, on card, like sealed, you know. So, because if you look back... To 1997, which was 30 years ago, some of the Star Wars figures, like there's, there is a Star Wars section here in this book. And, um, carded Star Wars, $26, $27, $61, $62, $63, $64, $65, $65, $65, $65, $65, $65, $65, $65, $65, $65, $65, $65, $65, $65, $65, $65, $65, $65, $65, $65, $65, $65, $65, $65, $65, $65,
That's awesome. That's so cool. Chuck Norris. I have all these except for I don't have this version of Chuck and this version of Chuck. I only have that version. I didn't go for the others yet. But I will have to track them down. Clash of the Titans. I only have this guy and he doesn't have his weapons. And he's standing in my cantina over there. Conan figures from Remco. These are like the He-Man style ones. Very hard to find nowadays. I mean, look at this back then. $25 mint on package. $18, $23. Conan the Warrior, $25. Conan the King, $25. These are, these are hundreds of dollars now. They're $150, $200 now. And back then, they were just $25 bucks according to this guide. Congo, which I just started collecting. I got almost all of them. I need uh, basically these big monkeys down at the bottom. But I got all these figures here. So that's pretty cool. Cone heads. Great. Cops. Remember cops? Good line to collect cops is. Really cool stuff. Cowboys of Mu Mesa Wild West. Psy Boars. Darkwing Duck. From 1991. 1989 Toy Biz. I got all these figures. I recently went through. Well, a couple years back, I went through and made sure I bought every single one on card. I have them all over there. And um, there's a variant in the uh, Aquaman where he has green arms. And there's one with, with orange arms, which this is before they even knew that variant was out there. They don't even picture that variant in here. And this book does usually cover variants if they know about them. Demolition Man, Dick Tracy. Demolition Man is another one I hope to collect soon. I want to get all these figures. That's a cool line. Um, Wesley Snipes and and uh, Sylvester Stallone. Desert Patrol from Remco. They're G.I. Joe kind of knockoffs. Diecast Metal Superheroes from Mego. Dinosaurs. Remember that Dinosaurs TV show? There's Disney regular figures, Mickey, Donald, and Goofy. Dragonheart would be a cool line to get the dragons for, at least. The figures are pretty stationary. There's not a lot of uh, movement on those, but still neat. Dukes of Hazard. I don't think I have any of those. Dune, I've got him, but none of these other guys. Uh, Eagle Force was an was Amigo... G.I. Joe ripoff. Earthworm Jim. Great looking sculpts on these figures. Cool looking figures. I see this guy a lot at thrift stores and things. Fantastic Four. Another great line to collect. I've got the Fantastic Four themselves. I've got this guy, Silver Surfer, Doctor Doom. I need to get Black Bolt Mole Man. Um, and then I've got these two and I've got an invisible version of her. I've got Thanos, I've got Fire, I've got him. I need that guy, I've got him. I've got the alternate one that flames on. Yeah, there's the invisible one. Um, I've got him, I've got that Thor, I've got Namor, I've got Annihilus. I need. I got the scroll, I think, I need this guy. And then I don't have any of these versions. Oh, I got this version of the thing, but I don't think I have anyone else here. Um, I might have that flame. I don't know. I want to get that. I've been, I've been pricing one out, um, trying to get that, but, uh, hopefully soon. Flash Gordon again. I love this line. I love the card backs on this. These are getting very expensive. Um, really cool. I really need these two. I really want to find them, but they're, they're so high up in price and the wings are always broken off of that one. And these two with the tails, if you try to hunt them down, look for the tails. A lot of times they're broken or clipped. Other Flash Gordon from the 90s. The Flintstones. Another neat line that might be fun to collect is the Flintstones. G.I. Joe. Look how many they tried to, they had to squeeze these on. Um, so much here in G.I. Joe. And it goes on and on and on. Of course, because it went on and on and on. I'm skipping a few pages here every once in a while just to get through them. They really went all out showing all the different G.I. Joe stuff. 
Gargoyles is cool. I've only got her, uh, but the rest would be great to get on card. And these are ones that I would collect on card because buying them loose, you're always going to be missing pieces. Everything fell off of these guys. Wings, tails, equipment, heads, arms, like everything. So I, I see them quite often missing parts and tracking the parts down is a nightmare. Ghost Rider figures from 95, Toy Biz, 96. These would be awesome to find. I don't even remember these being on shelves when I was in the stores back then. Um, I don't remember that card back in packaging. So this was an eye opener when I saw them in here. Godzilla, I didn't know they made figures for Godzilla. Trendmaster did figures. I knew about these, but I didn't know they had those, like people figures. So that's pretty neat. The 90s He-Man, when he goes to space. Hercules from the Legendary Journeys. We were just talking about these on one of the streams with the guys. Pretty cool. Hook figures, another line that'd be great to get is Hook. I got one. Uh, Hunchback, the Incredible Hulk with the great card back from the 90s TV show. Independence Day, Iron Man, I've got a number of these. I've got those three. I don't think I have the gold armor. I think that's the only one I'm missing is the gold armor. I have everything else. And then I've got it, need it, got it. I'm, I don't know if I have that one. Got that one, got him, got him, got him, got him, got this one, got the green one. I don't think I have those two. Got it, got it, need those three. Really cool stuff. James Bond Jr., Jurassic Park. This is another line I would love to get. The, Ken, the original Kenner Jurassic Park stuff. And again... It's because of the new Jurassic World movies, I think, this stuff has started skyrocketing. And uh, it might be just beyond reach now. Um, I haven't really looked them up in the last week or two, but I know that some of these figures have started to go up pretty high. But it'd be really cool to get these. Land of the Lost. I got one of the things for Land of the Lost. And I love it. So I would love to get some more of these Land of the Lost things. Because uh, the package art I just like. I, w I mean, the figures look terrible. But the package art looks great. King Arthur and the Knights of Justice. That was a cartoon in the 90s. I'd like to get these. Those are cool. Really nice looking things. Um, Lone Ranger. I, have the, I just have these two. I'd love to get their horses and the other guys. Last Action Hero is a line I want to collect. I have this guy, but he's the only one I have. I'd love to get him on card and get that car. Really nice. Lion King, Lord of the Rings, Love Boat. Look at that, Love Boat. That's awesome. Chris probably has Love Boat. That was with Ghost. Mars Attacks. I got all these Marvel. I went the, Along with the DC, I went through a couple years back and made sure I got every Marvel figure on the silver cards. So I've gone through and done that. I've got all the silver cards here. and um, But I don't have this variant. I'm going to have to look that up. Some of the variants, like there's a Spider-Man variant. There's a Thor variant. I'm going to have to look up and uh, research on here. There's a variant of him, which I do have that variant. And I think I have a variant of Silver Surfer where he's pale in some and chrome in others. Um... And then this one is black suit and red suit. The red suit's hard to find. But I didn't know there was a Thor variant. I'm going to have to check that out and get that. Oh, there's the silver one. So it's a different, yeah. Different year. Same with, with uh, Daredevil. Different year. And there's a clear version of, of, of uh, Invisible Woman. So... Really cool stuff. I love those Marvel. I love the Marvel stuff. And then there's the Secret Wars, which a lot of these on card are very expensive now. But some of the figures loose are relatively like um, I picked up Spider-Man and Kang, Doctor Doom. Um, they weren't that bad loose. I think I have Captain America over there, right? Yeah, I might have Captain America over there. 
Mash, pretty cool. I've got Klinger on card. Great card back again. Masked Riders, like Common Rider. Um, the Mask figures. Masters of the Universe, again, another one that'll go on for a couple of pages here. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, which again will go on for a couple more, a couple pages. Mighty Crusaders, that's a Remco line, superhero line. Mission Impossible. Mortal Kombat was sort of tied in with G.I. Joe, um, but they are getting pretty expensive now. Monster Force, that's something by Playmates. I didn't know that existed. I'm going to check that out. Pirates of Dark Water, I see these a lot at thrift stores and things. Uh, Planet of the Apes figures, Pocahontas, Police Academy, Police Academy, Predator figures, pretty cool. Primal Rage, which, um, that's interesting. I didn't know, I think they brought this line back recently. Raiders of the Lost Ark, really good reference for Raiders. Great to see those figures in there. Rambo, they only show three of the Rambo figures without their weapons, and then they have them all listed here. It must be that the people who put this book together didn't have access to any Rambo figures. The real Ghostbusters, great looking line. These are the ones to find, the glow-in-the-dark ones. Very highly sought after, very hard to find, very expensive nowadays. Reboot. A lot of people love that show. That'll be a big one to come around to. Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. I got all those. That's our famous Gamorrean guard redone as Friar Tuck. Robocop and the Ultra Police. More Robocop stuff. Look at the superhero in Robocop. What? Robotech. Got a lot of these Robotech guys. Another line I highly recommend, great lines. By Matchbox and Harmony Gold, you will find variants between the two uh, Matchbox. Some are Matchbox card backs, some will be Harmony Gold card backs. And, but the figures are relatively the same. There are some slight variations, in, but um, relatively the same. Rocky from Phoenix Toys, Roller Warriors, Sequest is another one I'm, tra I'm, I'm tracking down. I've been eyeing Sequest for a while. A lot of times the bubbles are crushed, so I'm. I, that's why I've been holding off because I'm trying to get some in really good shape. Um, the Shadow. I have a couple of these figures. I got this one. I have a clear Shadow. I've got some vehicles down there thanks to Chris that I bought for myself during my brother's auction. Silverhawks is a great line. I've just got this, the main uh, Quicksilver and his evil guy there, Monstar. Another line of Silverhawks, I remember this. I still see him sometimes in uh, thrift stores. That's funny. The Simpsons original stuff. Skeleton Warriors, which we've gone over on one of the Sunday morning cartoons. Space Precinct. Now, I didn't even know they made figures for this line, but I found this show on Tubi, the app Tubi, and uh, it's been amazing looking at this um Let's see in that there's figures for it. I'm going to have to track some of these down because that's, that's funny. Spawn. Spawn was a big one in the 90s that everyone was collecting. So many variants, so many things to look for. Spider-Man was gr another great line to collect, and they've done these now recently in the retro Marvel Legends. Awesome line of figures. These are some top-notch toy biz. Uh, Spider-Man is. I highly recommend it. Star Trek Playmates, again... Very big into this line. They have all the different card backs and what was on that card back. So it's this is a great reference, really good checkoff thing. The Galoob 3.75, the motion picture ones from the 80s, 7980, really cool. I've got these, but I don't have these aliens. That's cool. I didn't even know some of these aliens existed. That one's in a Darth Vader cape. More Playmates, they get back into Playmates. So really cool stuff here. Um, again, showing you the card back or the box and what came on those card backs. So you can kind of go through each series. Then we have Star Wars, which 
goes on forever. And they actually listed them all in a table eventually because there's so many. G.I. Joe and Star Wars take up half the book, you know? Um, Stargate, which is another great line with some Kenner reuse um, in the vehicles. So it's good things to look for in Stargate. Um, the Battle Wagon, I think, was reused. Uh, there's Street Fighter, which were also another section of G.I. Joe. Street Sharks, great line. Mario Brothers Superpowers Collection, another fantastic line for DC to collect, but one of the most expensive. Um, you'll see, like, the Dr. Fate, Firestar. Sometimes you'll see Hawkman, um, the Martian Manhunter. Uh loose at thrift stores and things but some of the others and then they copied these these guys are exactly the same in hawkman i think wonder woman 2 are exactly the same in the gold dc comic superheroes from toy biz so when toy biz got the rights they it's like they took the molds from kenner for some of these figures like the flash batman robin superman hawkman wonder woman and just remolded them and put them on a Toy Biz card. So it's kind of strange how they even have the same superpower when you squeeze the legs. So they are essentially the same exact figure. Same with the Joker, Penguin, yep. So some of these transferred over when Kenner took over, or when Toy Biz took over from Kenner. This guy, this Mr. Freeze, yep. But these are really good figures to get. Superhuman, Samurai, Cyber Squad. Wow. I remember those are cool. And then we have the Superman Kenner stuff. Swamp Thing Kenner will be a great one to get into. Swat Cats, Tailspin. I love Tailspin. Tarzan stuff. This was the line I've been recently looking at because I love these aliens. They look great. Ninja Turtles. Again, these are going to go on forever. We'll flip through. There's the hooker one. <laughs> Some of the Ninja Turtle stuff is just listed again. Some of these big lines, they don't show every photo, but they give you a really big... Wow, this goes on and on. Terminator 2, another great line that would be awesome to collect. Terminator 2, Thundercats. I've got all the bad guys except for this hook tooth one. And I've got, I've only got Lionel and him for the good guys. And I never got into the second series, but I got this Mumra or this series. The Tick, Tom and Jerry. Total Chaos is a great line, too. These look really chunky, really cool. Todd McFarlane. I've got this guy, and I've got a a demon guy. Must be in Series 2. They, won't, they don't have the next series in here. Probably because it, it might have come out in 98 or something, you know, and they didn't, this was a 97 book, so they don't have everything from the whole decade. Transformers. Again, I think this is going to go on forever. So we'll just quickly go through those. Ultra Force, Troll Warriors, Ultra Force, Venom. That's a neat card back. I'll have to look for some of these Venom card backs. VR Troopers, I remember those. WCW, the wrestling stuff. Water World, that's a good one. I've got one of these sleds and one of the figures on card. I'd love to get the rest of them on card and get this giant catamaran. Wetworks was another great line. I loved the vampire and werewolf on these. The techno-organic characters are really cool. Wetworks was a good comic, actually. And then future series of those. Wildcats. I've got this guy just because he's an alien, a monster. Uh, Grifter is now part of the Marvel Universe, this guy. So um, Grifter transferred over from... Wildcats to the Marvel Universe. Interesting side note there. World Wrestling Federation. These were really cool figures. 
Loved that Andre the Giant. Sergeant Slaughter. Great figures. I think they're, they've they started redoing these, right? Aren't they bringing these back right now? In limited Hulk Hogan. Where's Rowdy Roddy Piper? They got to have done a Rowdy Roddy Piper, right? But yeah, I, I think they're bringing some of these back. X-Men Toy Biz, another gigantic line. I've got most of the ones. I've got this variant. I think I only have that. I don't have the super clear one. Oh, I didn't know there was a... Oh, I didn't... Some of these I didn't know there were some variants on. I remember this variant, yep. The Apocalypse variants, I remember that. Yeah, and I've got the variants of her, all three colors of Storm. That was a big one back in the day, and so was this guy. And what they don't have in here is, unless they have them later on, there was a blue version. So it's black, green, and blue, and I have all three. And same with this. There's red pants, green pants, and there's a blue pants one, um, which they might not have known about back then, or it's coming up somewhere down the road here. Pink Cannonball versus Purple Cannonball. That was another big one everyone was going for. See, I remember some of these as being like major finds back in the day. Like people were like, oh my gosh, I found the green Wolverine or the pink Cannonball, you know. And X-Men goes to here. Youngblood. Another one where when they pose figures like that, you can't use them, you know? But this guy was great. I have him I have him up there. Um, really cool character. What was his name again? Number four, Crypt. Yeah, I have, I have Crypt up in my collection. I've got Viking Spawn up there. Zen the Intergalactic Ninja. Looks like we've come to the end. So now they're just talking about their other books. So yeah, that's it. That's what we've, we've come to the end. This was a look, a half hour look at the Action Figure Collector Guide by Sue Verlock, GMBH, Collector's Mail Service, LC. Really great book. Highly recommend these things. Hope you enjoyed taking a look at this. Hope it brought up some memories for you because we really went through this in depth and looked at just about every page. So um, thanks for coming along in this journey with me and taking a look at this book. And uh yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. May the force be with you, always.